what's up? It's Lauren back again with another Disney Nerd Thursday. So I know we haven't had a Disney Nerd Thursday in a while. The last video that I posted was my Moana running costume and honestly I didn't even show what the full costume looked like um, because I didn't put it... Maddie, get out of there. I didn't take a picture of the whole thing together. I just had the pieces of it separately. So, yes. Um... But anyway, back to the point of today's video. Today's video is going to be my Disneyland haul. So this is from my most recent trip. Trip. So when I was there, when I posted my Moana video, and from grad night. So grad night was actually the week after I was there for the Run Disney race. And, um, yeah. So I've been meaning to post this for a while now, I just haven't gotten the chance to film it, and um, yeah. So I wanted to explain to you guys why I've been gone real quick, I just feel like I need an explanation, so that's what I'm going to do right now. So um, school got in the way, after I got back from grad night I had two major projects going. Um, I had my capstone project for culinary, at which I was packed with. Um, I that basically took up all of my spare time and then I got my personal finance project so which is actually my final exam for this semester so um, I really needed to focus on that I really needed to focus on my schoolwork and my homework and school because I am finishing school um, in less than a week so I really needed to work on that um, and another reason is my cameras are crap right now um, my good camera, which I filmed higher quality videos with, um, stopped recording, and I'm not 100% sure why. I don't know if it's, like, water damaged, which I don't know how. Um, I don't know if it's damaged somehow, or if it's, I don't know, something weird has happened to it. I just will not record. It'll take pictures, and then when I zoom in to get the angle right, it zooms in all the way, and it does not let me zoom out. So if you guys are camera experts, that would be great if you could help me out, even though I am getting a new one here in a week or two, so um, shouldn't be a problem. And the other one is the one that I'm filming with right now is actually my vlogging camera, so the one that I used in Disney, both trips, and yeah. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started with this video because I've talked enough. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I saved a bunch of money for these two trips. So all of the items that I bought were spent with my own money. I did work really hard to save all of that and um, I did definitely splurge while I was there. So yeah. Alright, so the first thing that I got, I actually got this at grad night, um, because I was debating about it when I went for the race, and then when I went for grad night, it just kind of solidified it. I thought that I should, because it's like a classic thing. I got the class of 2017 Mickey grad cap, so it's got the little tassel on it that says 2017 on it. And I got my name embroidered on it as well, so it just says Lauren, and I did like a pretty font trying to match the class of font, so yes, I'm going to put that on so I have some ears for this video. Um, so yes, I'm just going to dive right into the bag here. Um, I ended up spending about $200, so like I said, I worked really hard and saved all of that money by myself, so yeah. So, the first thing that's in this bag here is another small bag. Um, <laughs> Alright, so the first thing that's in here is actually our uh, card from the hotel. This is from the Disneyland Hotel and it says neat and ready on it and it has Walt on it. A Walt in the Disneyland Hotel. Um, it was just saying like who was our, who our mouse keeper was. So, yeah, <laughs> a bunch of things that I got from the hotel. So this was free. Got that from the hotel. I also stole a set of coasters. Not stole, but like, borrowed? Took. Anyway, I took a set of coasters. Um, I stole a set of eight. Um, and they're like cardboard, so I didn't really think it would matter if the hotel, the, I don't think the hotel would care. Um, 
And I also stole a pen. <laughs> I didn't need a hotel pen. Okay, anyway. So the next thing that's in this bag is my annual pass book. So because we upgraded our tickets to annual passes when we were there for the race, um, so I could get the discounts on um, merchandise and food and everything while we were there, um, I got a little book saying when um, my days are good or when my pass is good and um, um, like the, the benefits and stuff. So yes, so I have until next May to uh, use and abuse my annual pass. So that, that was just the thing that came with it. All right, so in this bag here, I've got a bunch of pins. So there's four pins in this bag and I believe I got these ones at grad night. Um, but this first one is a Mickey Mouse balloon. It's the classic red balloon with the Mickey on the inside with the clear outside. Um, so yeah, there's that one. Then I got a Moana pin because I was dressed as Moana for the race. I just thought I wanted or thought I needed a Moana pin. So I got one. Then I saw this one for the first time and it's got Pirates of the Caribbean on it. And it says, we want the redhead, and it's got the redhead with the beautiful scarlet dress on from the ride, and I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Then the last pin in this bag is the um, Mickey Ear Hat um, Bedazzled one. I'm not quite sure what the name of it is called, but it's the Bedazzled Mickey Ear Hat. So, just thought those were super cute. Then next I have another bag. So I did a lot of mine in like bursts, so that's why it's all like piled into this one big bag and then like there's a bunch of other tiny bags in there. Alright, so this one is from the race. Um, the first thing that's in here is my medal for completing the Neverland 5k. So it's actually really cool. I want to hang it up somewhere, I'm just not quite sure where. Um, but it's got Captain Hook and Smee on it, and it says Neverland 5K 2017 Disneyland on it. And I just thought it was so much fun. I would definitely do it again, but I definitely have um, a sense of what it would be like for next time. Because I was so sore when um, we were done. Like, I was sore the rest of the day, the rest of the trip and then I hurt for three days afterward. I was so freaking sore. I hurt so bad. But now I know to prepare for next time to stretch and work out and like be healthy before I do a 5k. <laughs> Obviously I didn't do that before I went. Anyway, um, the next thing that's in here is a lanyard. So I got a new lanyard. The one that I have now is the classic Disneyland one with Sleeping Beauty's castle on it. But I figured I should live up to my name and get the Disney nerd one. Because I am a Disney nerd, um, I felt like this fit a lot. So, um, like I just felt like this fit me pretty well. And so I got this one. And it just says Nerds Rock on it. And this was $11.95, and I believe I got this at the uh, pin store in Frontierland. I'm probably not going to say where I got everything, because I'll forget, and there's a lot of stuff. So, yeah. um, The next thing in here is a business card from one of the downtown Disney shops. It's called California Limited. Um, I actually bought two of their shirts, which are in here, and yeah. Um, next thing in here is a couple antenna balls. So I got one that says Class of 2017 on it, and it's got a little Mickey grad cap on it. I just think it was super cute. And then I got this rainbow one because I really like the colors, and it's just super pretty. And, um, I feel like it's really fitting for the summertime. So, yeah. Alright, so, in here I've got some more pins. Um... Oh, those here. I trade. I got a set of the Tsum Tsum pins, and because I have some of them in my collection, but I got extras, so I traded them, and then I got this Aurora one, which is like a license plate almost, which is actually pretty cool. I got this one, which I thought was awesome, and it was Peach from Finding. Alrighty, I have no idea where my camera cut off, but um, 
what I was saying was I am obsessed with this keychain. Um, I got this at one of the boardwalk shops in California Adventure and it's a rose gold Minnie Mouse cupcake keychain. Like I am obsessed. It's bedazzled and everything. Um, but this is basically me in a keychain. Like it's Disney, it's a cupcake, and it's rose gold. So I felt like this was pretty fitting. <laughs> so I had to get it. And then um something on that. Oh, okay. And then I got this rainbow striped pin. I don't know if it got cut off in the last clip, but I hope it didn't. Anyway, moving on, next bag. Alright, so one more final little bag, I think. Yeah, the rest is actually in the big bag. Okay, so if you know me, <laughs> you know, or my friends know that I have a huge, avidly huge Tsum Tsum collector. So I have five more Tsums in here to add to my collection, but I have a couple things in this small bag before I get to that. So while I was there I got another leather bracelet that says my name on it and it I just thought the pastel colors were really cool so that's what it looks like and it's got the black leather on the inside. Then another um, thing that I got is a rainbow milkshake or ice cream sundae charm. So I am obsessed with charm bracelets and so I can I have one where it's you can take all the charms off and like adjust it um, or like put whatever charms you want onto it so it's called charmed in the park so that's why my mom got me another charm so my mom actually bought this one but I just think it's really cute and it's got a little Mickey head cookie sprinkle something on it anyway I just thought it was cute all right now into the zooms so um, the Tsums that I got was this one. I believe this is from the Tiki Room. Um, I believe my mom only got me the Adventureland ones just because those are the ones I like the most. But I think this is from Tiki Room. Um, I will put it right here if it's not. This one is Jose from the Tiki Room. I know that one for sure. Then we've got... Fritz from the Tiki Room as well. Then one of the girls from the Tiki Room, the white birds that come down from the ceiling. And this one's my favorite. This one is the Jungle Cruise Skipper. Ah! I am obsessed with this one. Like, because I know, like, their spiel on the ride, I feel like I could be a Jungle Cruise Skipper. So it just makes me so happy that they've condensed it into a zoom and I can put it on display and it just makes me really happy. Okay, now into the big items. So, the first thing that's in here is my race bib from the race. So I was number 44218 and if I go and look up my numbers, I can, or my number, I can go see the pictures that they took of me. Alright, so like I said, I kind of splurged on this trip, I came home with six t-shirts and five pairs of ears. So, okay, so these ones are mine. I don't know why they're in there. Four pairs of ears, I'm sorry. No, five, including these. Okay, so the first ears that I bought, I think I bought three of them together. So the first ears that I bought were these silver ones because like I had been thinking about these for a long time and I'm like I don't want to be basic but I'm like but they're so damn pretty how could I not? So I ended up giving in to the silver sequin ears and I'm, I really <laughs> wish that they still had the gold ones from the um, 50th anniversary it, just because like I just think that they're so pretty and like some outfits look better with silver and some outfits look, look better with gold. So I just think they're super pretty. So I'm going to have to go on the hunt for those. Uh, the next pair of ears were these ones. These were the like 2017 ears. So these are like the classic, they're like a mix of the classic ears 
and the ones that I got for the 60th anniversary, like 60th anniversary ears, and then the um, the original bow. But it's got like a turquoise color to it, and turquoise is my favorite color, so <sighs> had to. And the sequins on these are like iridescent almost, like black iridescent. It's awesome. It's really cool. Or like holographic. I don't know. Something along those lines. Alright, so, then I got these pair of ear- this pair of ears- whoa, English. <laughs> the next pair of ears that I got were these ones. Um, I thought these ones were awesome because they remind me a lot of, um, Sorcerer Mickey, so when I Disney bound with him, this would be perfect. So, yes. Thought that one was super cute. Then, my last pair of ears are these ones. I am obsessed. I saw these. Um, I saw another version of these at, or on People, and, because I, I saw the Star Wars ones, I'm like, eh, those are cool, but I don't like Star Wars. Anyway, so, I found these ones, and I am obsessed. Saw these at World of Disney, had to get them. These are for the Main Street Electrical Parade, which is back until August 20th, which I'm so upset that it can't stay longer, but I am so happy that it was back. Anyway, so these are the light up Main Street Electrical Parade ears and they move! I'm like so excited about these damn ears. Like I have never been so excited about a pair of ears in my life. Okay. They're kind of heavy. <laughs> but yes, they light up and they are like just utterly amazing. Like they had one, they had these ones and then they had, um... Uh, a Star Wars one, which had, like, TIE Fighters fighting on it, I think. I think I'm saying that right. Anyway, I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see what the Star Wars ones look like. Um, but, yes, I just think these are absolutely and utterly amazing. I, like, almost fell over when I saw these. I'm like, oh, I have to have these. Like, they're awesome. I love them so much. Okay. Alright, so the next thing in this bag is actually something that my brother got me. So, um, we were in Adventureland and we were getting dinner, I think, at, um, what's that place called? Bingo Barbecue in Adventureland. And they had this Moana souvenir cup and my brother got it because he's like, oh yeah, I want it. And then when he finished his soda... He handed it to me. He's like, here, I actually got this for you. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, it's absolutely beautiful. It's not real wood. It's plastic. But it's absolutely beautiful. Like, all the details in it are wonderful. And it looks like bamboo. Like, <laughs> I thought it was legit bamboo. And it says Moana on it. And I just thought it was really fitting because we were Moana and Maui when we were there. Um, so, I... I just love it. I can't wait to use it. I probably won't. But it's so cute. I love it. Alrighty. Now into the shirts. Okay. So the first shirt that I got, or the first shirt on the stack, is this one. And it says, take me to the beach and I have a hippie van on it. I love it. It's got the Volkswagen van on it. And if Anybody who knows me knows I'm a hippie, and I love hippie vans. Like, I want a hippie van, but an automatic hippie van. So, this is actually a baseball tee, but I just thought it was super cute, and I had to have it. Um, the next shirt that I got is a Main Street Electrical Parade shirt. So, it looks like this. I want the fabric paint stuck together. So, I was actually looking for a certain one, and... Um, I couldn't find it. It was one of the AP, or the annual pass holder ones, um, and I think they only had it during AP days. Unfortunately, I wasn't there during AP days, so I didn't have the chance to get it, even though I have an annual pass now. Ah. Anyway, <laughs> this one is super cute, and it uh, just says Main Street Electrical Parade on it, and it has all of the floats on it in purple. And I just thought it was super cute. Um, like, this one is pretty comparable to the one that I wanted. The one had all of the floats on it. It said Main Street Electrical, bleh, Main Street Electrical Parade on it. And then on the back. 
Okay, so, um, I'm almost done, I promise. So, yeah, it just said AP Days on the back. So, yeah. Then, the next shirt that I got is actually a tank top. This is from the California Limited, um, stand at Downtown Disney. It's just super cute. Going back to the hippie thing, like, I am super into flowers and peace signs. So, this is just a racerback tank top, and it's got the state of California on it, and it's got this, this pretty spray of flowers. So, I just thought it was really cute, and, um, I feel like I could really style it, <laughs> even though I live in Nevada. Like, I could really style it and pull off being a Cali girl. Alright, so I have three shirts left. And then two other things in the bag, and then I'm done, I promise. Okay, so the next shirt that I got is this rainbow tie-dye shirt, and it has a spray paint outline of Mickey. This is not the rainbow tie-dye shirt I wanted. I went to Disney for the race looking, searching, dying for a rainbow Mickey tie-dye shirt. I will post it right here. So... That's what it looks like. That was the one I was after. I went to four different stores, and they sent me out on a goose chase for it, because I went there the first night, and I asked the lady at the desk, or not the desk, at the gift shop, um, the lady at the register at the gift shop at the hotel, I asked her, I said, okay, I'm looking for this shirt specifically. It's got the black and white Mickey on it, and it says Disneyland on the front, and it's rainbow tie-dye and so she's like okay so she called who she call she called no i went to world of disney first went to world of disney first they said that they didn't have it then i went to the the hotel they said that they didn't have it at that store but she called not quite sure if she called elias and company or the other t-shirt shop right there on um Buena Vista Street, but she called one of those two shops, and they said that they had three, and that the associate was pulling it out on the floor, or the cast member was pulling it out onto the floor. I'm like, okay, I have to go get them. I'm like, will they be there tomorrow morning, because I'm going into the park tomorrow morning. She goes, um, maybe, because the park was closed by the time I got there, so I was hoping that they were still there. Went back the next morning, and could not find this shirt whatsoever so I'm like okay well they didn't pull it out onto the floor and so I'm going to have to talk to a cast member so I talked to a cast member and I walked up to the guy and I'm like okay I'm looking for this shirt um, I had a lady call from um, Fantasia gift shop last night and she said that you had three and I really want one and he's like well we don't sell that t-shirt here and I'm like well then who did she call and He's like, I have no idea. So they sent me out on this big goose chase for it. Find out that none of the stores that I went to had the shirt. And I was super pissed. I was so mad. I was like, are you kidding? It was our last day in the park. I'm like, I don't, I just want my shirt. Like, I want, I came down here looking for that shirt. And I saw everybody wearing it. It pissed me off so much. I cannot find this damn shirt. But... Yeah, so this is the one that I got instead because I wanted a rainbow shirt and I couldn't find the other one, so I got that one instead. And I'm like, okay, well, whatever. I was still pissed, but. Okay, anyway, back off my rant. Um, so the shirt that I got from the Run Disney Race Expo was this one. And I am, like, living for this shirt. I think it's absolutely adorable. It's, like, this sky blue color. And it says home on it. And it's got a white iridescent castle. Like, I am into the iridescent trend. I am loving it. It's so pretty. And it says home. And because Disneyland is my home, like, I feel... I, I just don't know why I haven't gotten this shirt sooner. <laughs> and then it just says New Balance running on the back. Even though I don't run. <laughs> I just think it was super, super cute. The last shirt that I got, I actually have worn. Um, I meant to like save everything and it's been sitting on my floor since then, um, since I got back. So, because I've been meaning to film so bad. Um, I actually wore it and it's been washed. But it's the Neverland 5K shirt and my mom got a large. 
I'm not quite sure why, but because I'm a medium. This thing is huge on me. Anyway, so I got the Neverland 5K shirt, and it just has all the sponsors on the back. And I just think it's really cute, even though it's ginormous. Um, still cute, and yeah. So that's the last shirt that I got. Alright, the last things in this bag, and then I promise I'm done, is these two um, stickers for my car. So this one is the capsule, so I feel like I'm going to put this one on um, first. I don't know for sure if I'm going to put the Minnie Mouse bow on, but I had to get it because it's a bow, and I love bows, and it's just so pretty. I love it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to put the castle one on my car first, and then, or on my computer. Put it on my computer, too. I just thought about that. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. Alright. Oh, <laughs> one thing I forgot. So, while I was there, I had this tiny backpack. Here, I'll get it. It's right here on the floor. So, while I was there for the Run Disney Race, I had this bag. And, don't get me wrong, it's an absolutely adorable bag. But with my water, and especially the day of the race, because I had a Pua and Hey Hey stuffed animal in my backpack, it just would not close. With my water, my autograph book, and everything in there, it was getting really complicated. So, I told my mom, because I had been looking at this backpack for a really long time. So, I told my mom, I'm like, I am so tempted to get that backpack. And she goes, why? I'm like, because my backpack will not close. So, that's what I did. I gave in, bought this Minnie Mouse polka dot backpack, and I actually used this for grad night, too, and everybody loved it. Like, they knew exactly where I was, considering I had ears on my head and ears on my backpack. <laughs> so, they knew exactly where Lauren was. Anyway, so I put all my stuff in here, put my water, my autograph book, and um, I had Pua and Hey Hey and their heads sticking out. It was adorable. And I had so many people ask me, they're like, oh my god, where did you get your Pua and Hey Hey? I'm like, I got them at the Disney store back home. And they're like, oh. I'm like, yeah, I didn't get them here. They're like, that sucks. I'm like, there's like, there's like nothing Moana here. I'm like, I know there's not, but um, yeah. So, yes, that was the last thing that I got for my Disney haul. I am so sorry that this video is so freaking long, but I did buy a lot of stuff, and I just wanted to show it all to you. Um, not really to brag, but to um, um, kind of give you guys an idea of what you want to get if you're going to Disneyland anytime soon. So, um, I know the ears will go away, these ones will go away in the class of 2017 stuff but other than that I think it's pretty much year-round um, merchandise so if you guys are going like in August or um, like Christmas time I'm pretty sure this will all still be here or be in the park so yeah just to kind of give you guys an idea and yeah so I hope you guys like this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave me a comment down below. And if you want videos like this and more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And hit the notification bell to um, make sure you guys get an update every time I post a video. Though I don't post that often, you can still hit it if you want to be notified when I post a video. So, yeah. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys! That did not look out like I wanted it to. Dang it. Oh well.